It's said that when a plane is flying at high altitude, if a bullet punctures a small hole in the window, the sudden loss of cabin pressure could cause the fuselage to rupture and suck people right out through the hole. To test this myth, the team headed to an aircraft graveyard filled with retired planes, the perfect place for an experiment like this. But before starting, they needed to patch up the old aircraft, since the test required a pressurized environment. Adam sealed the window using wooden boards and expanding foam, while Jamie installed a pressure gauge near the emergency exit. During the experiment, they planned to pressurize the cabin to zero 0.6 atmospheres to simulate the pressure difference at cruising altitude. To make sure the cabin was airtight, they ran a pressure test using a massive air compressor. Then they placed a dummy next to the window and set up a stand with a handgun aimed at the aircraft's side. The plan was simple. Fire a bullet into the fuselage and see if a small bullet hole would trigger explosive decompression. They also scattered foam balls all over the cabin to make it easier to see how objects moved during the test. Once everything was ready, the compressor began pressurizing the cabin. When the pressure reached the target level, Jamie fired the gun. The bullet punched a small hole through the fuselage, but nothing dramatic happened. The shell didn't crack apart, and nothing inside the cabin was blown around. Next, they aimed at the window. The bullet shattered the glass, yet the fuselage still remained intact. However, at high altitude, airspeed could affect pressure differences, so they wanted to know whether strong winds would change the outcome. Tori built a sealed box using an airplane door and filled it with smoke, then ran a wind tunnel test to calculate how airspeed affects suction force. The results showed that at 490 miles per hour, the wind only increased the pressure difference by about 0.1 atmospheres far too little to cause explosive decompression. But the team wasn't satisfied with that result. They decided to take things up a notch by strapping explosives near the airplane window. This time, the blast tore a huge hole in the fuselage, sucking out everything that wasn't bolted down and almost pulling the dummy through the window. Finally, they pushed the experiment to the extreme, using even more explosives. The explosion nearly ripped the plane in half, yet the dummy stayed firmly in place, held by its seatbelt. In the end, it was clear. A small bullet hole isn't nearly enough to blow someone out of an airplane. 